Governor Larry Hogan is taking a stand against the immigration policy that separates children from parents by pulling a Maryland National Guard troops from the border. At least 2,000 children have been ripped from their families since May and placed in detention camps in Texas near the Mexico border. Leaders here in Maryland and across the nation are denouncing the Trump administration's immigration policy. George Solis is live with the emotional plea from one lawmaker to his fellow members of Congress. George. Vic, Mayor Catherine Pugh, Governor Larry Hogan, and Congressman Elijah coming all condemning the practice. Governor Hogan, as you mentioned, going as far as rescinding state resources from the region. Yesterday, Maryland Congressman Elijah Cummings holding nothing back Tuesday. We sent letter after letter, letter after letter, asking these committees to investigate the Trump administration's policy, which is now resulting in child internment camps. That's what I said child internment camps. Delivering explosive testimony before his colleagues condemning the president and his administration for the thousands of migrant children that have been separated from their families at the southern border. We will not do that. We are better than that. We are so much better. He's not the only one speaking out. On Monday, Governor Larry Hogan tweeting, calling on Congress and the administration to, quote, fix our broken system. Tuesday, he upped the ante, announcing he ordered state National Guard resources for crew members and a helicopter back home, quote, until this policy of separating children from their families has been rescinded. Mayor Catherine Pugh also issuing a statement condemning the practice, citing the famous plaque at the base of the Statue of Liberty. The issue of family separations also reaching Anne Arundel County. Congressman Dutch Ruppersberger and Don Byer revealing they've learned of two men here in the country illegally that have been detained at this correctional center in the county. The center is used by the federal government to hold undocumented individuals that could face deportation. Both men were pulled away from their children and only just now able to contact them. We're standing up, and I can tell you this, we will win this because the American people are behind us. It's just a matter of moving forward. Now, Vic, Maryland lawmakers say they are ready and willing to work with their colleagues to find a solution and fast to this complicated and controversial issue. Live in Baltimore, George Solis reporting for WJZ. I thank you, George. The president is responding to criticism, saying that he does not want to separate migrant children from their families at the border. WJZ coverage continues with Mola Lange on Capitol Hill.